It's Texans Talk with Texans. The unofficial, official Texans pregame show. With NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Joe Cool the Greaser. And also NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Nick Rogers. And now it's Texans talk with Texans. Now, here are your hosts, Joe Cool the Greaser and Nick Rogers. What's up, Nick? Uh, what's up? How's it going, man? Hey, you doing all right? Yeah, all right. Good, I'm back now. So, what are we talking about? Um, well, we're talking about the past two games that we kind of uh, that lost. That we lost? Yeah. yeah those, those were heartbreakers, put it to you that way. Yeah. So um, I'm not. <clears throat> Anyways, you said you wanna. Uh, you don't want to talk about Dallas. You said. Well, she don't mind. <laughs> we, we had to. I mean, those two games overall, they had to win. It was a close game. Don't get me wrong. But I know this game coming up. They got to win. Start focusing. No more mental mistakes. And I keep on saying this, day in, day out. But uh, apparently. It hasn't gone through to them. So we're at the, we're at the point where is there you swim or you, you sink. That's just bottom line. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, okay, so are we past Dallas now? Yeah. yeah we're gonna talk, well, you know what? I have a special guest. Oh, you do? Yeah. Um, do we know this but, guy? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think you do. Okay, so uh, today we got a, speci- a specialist of some sort. Uh, he says it wasn't the Texans' fault for not winning against the Cowboys. Uh, he says they weren't going to win regardless. His name is uh, John Wayne Carter. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> hey, uh, wh- what are you? What are you, John? You're, you predict the future or something like that? It's kind of nature. <laughs> well, uh, kind of. Uh, <laughs> But I'm not like a psychic uh, card reader or or, or a palm toucher. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm a, a little bit of uh, kind of like a wet uh, meteorologist that predicts the weather on, uh, depending on uh, the weather patterns. Well, I predict what's going to happen uh, with a little bit of any, uh, on, you know, I predict that the reactions of Hollywood, you know, the patterns of the media, uh, politics, you know, basically uh, any strange movement within the entertainment business, and you know, the filthy, dirty, stinking rich, yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're not a sports buff or... Oh, no, no, Joe Cool, not exactly. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I do keep up with uh, a little, a little here and there, you know, I know, uh, uh, a lot about the teams. Uh, I know a lot of teams that made that ultimate blood sacrifice uh, just to get that Super Bowl ring. Okay. So uh, you say it's not the Texans' <laughs> fault that they lost against the Cowboys, or or, or what? Well, yes, it's not the Texans' fault. I mean, I don't know if you know uh, Joe Cool. Uh, but the Cowboys have always tried to be the best, no matter what, what the cost, okay? No matter what. Uh, you know, from them joining the Illuminati, uh, Devil Worship, you know, all kinds of blood sacrifices, you know, Jerry Jones. I mean, look at that guy. That guy looks like he's a devil walking on, you know, on Earth. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of demon tree going on in Dallas. I mean, come on, the Poli was even over there in Dallas. And I mean, I don't know where I win. I, mean, I don't know if it's hanging around. Uh, look, 
the thing is, when a lady picks you to win the big game or big games, they'll make anything happen. You know, the the the. the, the They'll make the refs start blowing calls or missing calls left and right. They'll even, uh, you know, give some players an extra edge, you know. They won't drug test them. They'll give them the, the growth hormone or the steroids or whatever uh, new, new drug that they're developing to make people faster. You know, you know all the illegal stuff that, you know, the clean taxes would actually have uh, no part of. Um, <coughs> You know, and then also, you know, probably throw a couple extra players in there, you know. And, you know, what, what are you going to do as an opposing team? You can't do nothing. You're just going to uh, sit there and, and, uh, and suck on the Illuminati possible, so to speak. Well, uh, well, my buddy thinks Yeah, because they don't to rule the world, basically. Well, he thinks it's funny, but... I don't know why you guys would keep on laughing, but... Uh, uh, yeah, they do. Uh, everybody better open up their eyes. And, uh, okay. Look, uh, this is the thing. Dallas is so entrenched in this evil garbage uh, that they would sell their own mother's soul to the devil. Okay? That, that, that's all the stuff that's going out in Dallas. You know what I mean? Where do you think the, the championships came from? You know, you think the, the good, good old fashioned work? Oh, you know, hell no. Uh, more like Illuminati, uh, picking them as their media darlings, you know, calling them, uh, coining the phrases, America's team, you know, it's basically Illuminati's team, you know, how about the Cowboys, you know, Jerry Jones re uh, really represented Illuminati to the fullest, so basically, uh, yes, the Texans were doomed from the, from the time they stepped foot wide in Dallas. I mean, they weren't going to win against a de demonic uh, Dallas Cowboys. There was no way. <laughs> okay, so. I mean, they, they weren't chosen. Now, Texas, the Texans are not going to sell their soul, as I know of right now, to get a Super Bowl ring, to get a, a, a win here or there, you know? Yeah. Uh, Dallas, they're all in it. They're all about it. Okay. Uh, Dallas is basically Devil Town. <laughs> Okay. I mean, why do you think they beat the Seahawks? They're beating everybody. They're 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 they're, they're leaving uh, dead carcasses everywhere. And okay. if Illuminati wants them to go to Super Bowl, guess what? They're gonna go to the Super Bowl. Okay. Uh, so a few <laughs> days later, the Texans lost again to the Colts. Why did Illuminati intervene or what? <laughs> you know what happened against okay, Indianapolis? Uh, luck happened. Okay. <laughs> That guy's amazing, really. Okay, well, thanks for joining us. I was just saying, real luck. What can I say? Okay, well, thanks for joining us, uh, John Wayne, and uh, <laughs> we'll see you later. Thanks for having Gentlemen. me on the show, guys. All right, that was our special. So, did, did you uh, like what he's, uh, our specialist of some sort said? I mean, even though he's not like an NFL analyst or anything. No, is, I, I is the Dallas uh, use special de demonic, demonic powers possession to overtake the Texans? No, he was way off. He was full of shit. Was beep, beep. Wow. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, folks, but this guy here has no education of NFL knowledge whatsoever. That's one. Two, folks, is that what what really got Texas? What you know? What made the Texans lose? Mental mistakes. Can't, can't make any mistakes in a close game. They had a game one, would have been no problem. But this Patrick, once again, was not able to overcome his mental mistakes, therefore it takes a loss. But you know what? I think he does have some sort of point because the Illuminati, you know, they encourage all this uh, deviant behavior, you know, and they, you know, Romo, homo, and he used that spec. He used his special power. The, the, so they had their the, mojo? He, well, wait. He did like his gay twist on the ankle. And he, J.J. Watt would have normally sacked a regular guy like that, but Romo used uh, some homo powers, so to speak. I guess. And did you see that play in the beginning where he just, I mean, that was the game changer right there. Yeah, it was. And, uh, well, anyways, uh, you want to move on to the Colts? Yeah. I mean. The cold game was, again, another 
another, another, me, another example of the Texans should have won that game too. Just like, but much like the much like the Dallas game, the same thing with the Colts game. <coughs> I mean, it just those again, those mental mistakes. They can't afford to make any more mistakes at all. Period. In the Colts game, like that. All, all Fitzpatrick has to do is play straight. Make sure he's pretty much accurate on his throws overall to his receivers. If he can do that, and also the offensive line has to hold the other team's defense overall for for uh, for Fitzpatrick for him to throw to be successful against who? The Steelers. Yes. And that's what you're talking. Yeah. Sorry, folks. I got a little carried away there, but yes, he is right. And uh, me, I don't know anything about the Steelers, um, except they have three teams that are the same, right? The Penguins, Pittsburgh, uh, Pirates. They all dress the same, uh, black and yellow. Black. So Wes Khalifa going to be in that game? <laughs> you know you know who Wes Khalifa is, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, he's, he's a country boy, sorry. <laughs> he doesn't listen to rap, so. Uh, I have no clue. All you rappers, all you guys that know about rap, uh, Wes Khalifa came out with that song Black and Yellow. That was representing Pittsburgh, basically. Oh. Anyways, we'll move on because that's way over your head. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Are they still good, the Pittsburgh Steelers? Uh, they're they're iffy. They're they're, they're like the unbalanced. Texans, they're un three and three. Uh, yeah, they're unbalanced. I mean, they were. I mean, they did make make a Super Bowl a long time ago. Well, since then, since then, one of the quarterbacks got caught in some kind of a. Uh, Scandal or something. So what scandal are you talking about? We're talking about any kind of types of scandal. I mean, there's some, there's some any, pretty much kind of hard to even bring up. It's still just one of those personal things. Oh okay. Yeah. Like he, he couldn't come in because he was sick or something like that. No, this is beyond sickness. Okay. But he's still playing. Yeah. If it were up to you, he'd be locked up, right? I think pretty much yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um. So tonight, hopefully, we beat the Steelers, right? Yes, yes. And again, I'm going to say this once. I'm going to say it again. And then after that, I'm going to keep on saying it. I'm going to do my five keys right now. If that's okay with you, Joe, cool. Yeah, that's okay. As long as they're not like... Oh, no, no, no. Well, you should say it. Okay, go ahead. You have your five keys. I have my five keys. Okay, all right. Number one, and I say this again, no turnovers. Number two. Quarterback has to be accurate on his throws to his receivers. Number three, offensive line has to hold for Fitzpatrick to be successful. Number four, for special teams, the coach, Bill Bryan has to be better on his pay, uh, on his uh, excuse me, on his play calling. He has to be better on that. And number five, just win. I got my five keys. Can you, can you, uh, can you get back to you? <laughs> well, back in the studios. <laughs> you know, we're next to each other. <laughs> yeah, I got five keys. Win, <laughs> win, win. Wait, that was that was three. Uh, win and uh, kick their ass. Okay, that's about it. Because I mean, I don't you know. Missed one. Okay. What? Now. When now? Well, that should have been part of yours. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, they need this W to get uh, to get back on track because right now Texans are three and three, and but no uh, duration. And uh, I don't know if the schedule gets easier down the road, does it? Mm, it gets it's still bumpy. It gets, There's just, some the, speed bumps. The speed bumps. Speed bumps to the Super Bowl, can we say? Maybe, but that's too far. Wow. But but to but it's too far too far too big. <coughs> Let's try to make the playoffs at least. Yeah. Why don't you take it one game at a time? Maybe win the division? That's a long shot. And it's the only shot. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll see you next week. Let's see it. Same prime time. <coughs> uh, same, <laughs> same prime time. Same, same prime time back channel. channel, right? Yeah. Back to you and Nick in the studios. Just win. <laughs> Get out of here. We'll see you all next week. Hey!
have any questions for me? Stupid. You're probably uh, uh, jealous of my, my gorgeous hair. 